Today, we're car camping, but not just any type of camping. We're Tesla camping in a Tesla Model 3. Now, if you're looking for Tesla camping for beginners, actually check out this video instead or if you want a full walkthrough from beginning to end on the Tesla camping kind of experience, stay tuned to this channel. But for now, this video is all about these three different items that I've been adding to my Tesla camping arsenal so I can give you guys the perfect setup for Tesla camping. Now, these two first things honestly may not seem like a big game changer, but when it comes down to the minimalism of Tesla camping, I think these are essential. First up on our list is a jet boil. What a jet boil essentially is, is a compact container that it will actually be able to host its own propane burner. Now, by simply locking in these two components of the jet boil, you essentially have boiling water at a moment's notice for any meal or any need that you have. And just to show you how quick it is, later on in the video, I'll actually be preparing one of my own meals with a jet boil. Now the second item on our list is something I was really considering the last time I went camping and quite simply it's a magnetic light. Brands doesn't really matter but this is one called Handy Bright and essentially it's just a LED kind of torch that has a magnet to just magnetize it to any part of my car so at night when I'm brushing my teeth or where I'm moving stuff around or simply just trying to get to my storage part of my car it's a lot easier to move around. Now the last item on our list has honestly been a huge game changer and I teased it in the previous video but honestly it's a must. A roof box. Now when investing in exterior storage you're going to need two items your roof box and your roof rack. The roof rack is semi-permanent it kind of just lives on your car once you've purchased it and decided to mount it. You can take it off but I would say it's not worth it. But second of all would be the roof box. This is one from a Sweden brand called Thule. Now what's so sick about Thule is you see how there's two different locks is because you can actually open it from either side. So right here as you'll see I have everything that I've packed for my trip plus other equipment and now you have different ways of getting whatever is inside your roof box. Different types of luggages from this side or essential items on the other side and you don't have to worry about climbing all the way to the top just to get something in down. Now while the roof box is a little self-explanatory, the jet boil can be a little confusing so let's jump to nighttime and I'll show you how we use it. Let's go! And just like that, we are in the evening. It is, uh, my watch kind of died on me. 10 minutes past sunset, so I'll show you guys the jet boil. Check out the sweater, by the way. So what's cool about it, as I mentioned, it all kind of fits inside itself. So this is if you want to, uh, I don't know what that's for, but this is a little covered, so all the little coils down here don't get dirty when you're not using it. And it will just gently pop out the uh, propane. Now, I already did it off screen, but you do want to rinse this because of the storage and everything. So just like this, we set it up. There will be a little limit on how much water we can put in it. Turn it on, put on the lid, let it do its thing, and that's it. Let's try it out. And the food that we're cooking up today is a three cheese mushroom risotto. It's kind of the same concept as uh, like mac and cheese, how so you have something that's like dehydrated. It lets you know like where to put the water, you let it sit. Ta-da! So now that we have our water, let me add just a tiny bit more. I think it will need more. Go ahead and add it. So for this one, we'll turn it left, loosen it up till we hear the propane go off. The igniter, bring it down. Let us do this thing. And with that, we'll put our little lid. And in the meantime, let me show you the light. And as mentioned, the cool thing about car camping is technically your whole tent is out of metal. Certain parts are magnetic, some are not. But this little light, could even be like my key light, but now I can just add it right here. I got light for this. Can just connect it right here, right here, right here, or even right here. And once it starts cooking, you definitely hear it a little bit more, but to kind of get a good estimate of what level your water is at, this right here will actually start to turn orange to let you know like how hot the water is. So it'll be like gray to orange, and that's kind of like your way of measuring. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'll turn it off, it has a little handle right here, spin it counterclockwise, always treat that as hot. It actually has like a little spout, and on here, slowly pour this in. And gents, dinner served. I should have thought of an outro while there was still daylight, but thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to build this journey of Tesla camping, so stick around if you are interested in that. This video helped a little bit, please leave a like, join the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you soon guys. Peace.